study a book and they go to elementary school they go to what the next school mm, high school they even go to college and motherfuckers still can't study me you will never study me <laughs> because i'm of god almighty come motherfuckers come so check this out there I was. Artie, send my three hundred dollars. I sent you a fucking song viral. Send my three hundred dollars. Else the world gonna hear about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'll reverse that blessing too. Yep. I have the fucking nerves. Good morning, Artie. What 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 you say? It was like leave Queenie alone. Don't talk bad about Queenie. Else the world is going to suck your mama. Yes, I said it, Artie. Take your $300, put some sperm on it, and burn that shit. If you want to create enemies around here because of one individual. Motherfucker, I've been watching you. I know the whole thing was a setup. Mm-hmm. I know the whole thing was a setup. Let me tell you guys from when I know. I know I knew from day one that again they needed my energy to make Sting relevant. Remember, I'm the one who bought Queenie to Sting last year. When she tried to be on Sting, they told Sicker Rhymes no. They say she ain't got no hits. They they don't see why she should be on Sting. I went to Jamaica. I went to ER, I did the interview, I called her out, then ER get in touch, then um, Evie D get in touch with Nuffy, and, or Nuffy, Nuffy said that he told Evie D, you know, to um, Amari's the missing link for Sting, cause no, no tickets for his selling, right? And I, I could have fucked her up, I could have just not accept the proposal but i accepted it and let me tell you from i realized this bitch was the queen of means after they accepted us right i i said make sure that they pay us because they wanted to give us a couple thousand dollars in jamaican dollars and they said they're not paying no plane plain fare i sent a message to simone I, I spoke to Simone and I told Simone, Simone, tell Queenie, make sure that they pay her this amount because we want to get the same amount. And I said, Simone, tell her to make sure that they provide her plane ticket. She must not back down because they need us and we want to come out equally, equal wages, equal treatment, equal everything. The next thing I know, the motherfucker jump on the plane before me, first class, reach Jamaica, book an hotel before me. D didn't care a fuck about Amari. Didn't let the world know that Amari was behind everything. I sat on Instagram and I promoted the wall thing I sent the wall thing viral I included the wall thing in my reality show and you look all over Instagram Facebook everywhere it was Amari and Queenie Sting Sting that motherfucker never once took up her phone and promoted Sting like I do because I'm a business person you understand? But did you look out for me? No, you did not look out for me. Then you come with your fucking, I'm about 25 G men to intimidate me at Sting. And you come to Sting and act like we weren't corresponding. That That's how you act. You understand? You you don't let the world know how much you intimidated me at Sting. Remember when I was around the back in my tent? I left from the back and I went to the front and your people told you that I was at the front. And guess what you did? You came there and tried to steal the the whole spotlight from me when you see everybody was crowded around me and everybody was taking pictures. You came and tried to steal the whole spotlight. And I look at it and I said, look at this bitch. Look at this bitch that I bought to sting. But anyway, 
Let bygones be bygones. The other day, from RT boss turn up on your veranda, you lowdowns come, I knew something was up. And I say, Daddy, what's going on here? And then I realize, Guzu, Guzu, you work in your obia cause what? You want to stay on top and you want to make sure that you get back your husband. And I said, watch me and this motherfucker. Watch me and this bitch. All the fuck you gonna work, Obia, and to be back on Sting, and again you use my energy. I posted me on, me and you on Facebook, um, two and a half million views. I posted me and you on Instagram, uh, one point two million views. I post you all over and I send Sting viral again. My bitch, you post shit on your wall. Guess what I find out with you? Why the fuck you think you so big and buying, buying likes? That's what I find out. I, I say, this bitch thirsty. This bitch thirsty. You look on your page, you see where you have up a video and it have 1,000 and add likes in like five comments. And I'm like, what the fuck going on here? Remember, I'm a pro in this shit. I, I've been in this industry long before any of you all. I've been in this industry from I was 12 years old. You get what I'm saying? I've worked on double N, double K, double N, G, R, double A, X, Y. I'm the CEO of Phantom Fireworks record label. Was the CEO of Sky Eye Music Promotion. Work in New York everywhere. Been give out Tamika Awards and all. I, 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 I'm legit in this industry and I watch you, bitch. I watch you. You are so disloyal. You get what I'm saying? When I see the little Picheri um, RT working on your behalf, I'm saying, mm. you see me? I always walk through the valley of the shadow of death, but I always come out like gold. And I say, these two, they're dangerous. But guess what? I'm going to make your fans follow me. <laughs> That's exactly what I did. D don't you see? Post Queenie on my wall. Put your song on my wall. Your fans are like, yeah, they're cool. Everybody start following me. I say, I'm going to make RT fans follow me too. Bam, they follow me. And I'm sitting back. And because there's no loss, I cause your songs to, to get 5,000 likes. Nobody liked you. Nobody liked you as no artist. You were on your page crying, talking about why you all don't, don't go listen to my song on YouTube. When you saw the thing look so bad, when you couldn't get no views, you run and go buy some with the English pounds to make it look a little better. And I came on my page and I tell people, go over there and support Queenie. And the views went up. Then I post you. Last week, I post your song and people were like, it's the first time we're hearing about the song. You understand? Likes galore and give you a major hit right there. But never you throw away your stick before you cross the water. The deal is this. I say, I will not go to Sting unless Queenie is going to. Huh? I say, if Queenie want to go without me, fine. But I will not go to Sting without Queenie. And I sit back. I say, Queenie, have you heard from Sting? You were like, no. Me not hear from Demi, no. And there I was. Like a fool, but I, I'm not sorry I did. I was saying the way they treated me and the way they treat Queenie, that's wrong. You'll see a video on my Instagram where I even said to Spice, like, where you going is me, is two Queen run things around here, me and Queenie. And I, that, that video, a lot of people were liking it this morning. And I'm saying, look at that loyalty you you bitch talk about girl power girl power how can you give girl power when you're a old ass bitch with old ass crippled ways you dog shit you see me coming through the airport in my wheelchair all of a sudden you traveling in wheelchair too people don't know you so much want to be a mari you see me with gully bop you go look dewey although dewey wasn't looking you you understand you just want to be a mari everything you see me wear hoodie if you look in your latest video you start wearing hoodie too you see me do my tattoos on my hand you see me do my sleeve you go get sleeve too but people gotta wake up and and realize you so want to be me. You want to be me so bad that you don't even want me alive. You want me dead. 
And the sad part about it, which is good, when you see people hate you, God say, kill them with love. When, when you came on my page, you don't tell nobody that you're the one on TikTok begging me, begging me, because Sting wasn't going to call you, begging me, begging me, Amari, me and you last year, we were so good, and you there for days upon top of days, I want to be in touch with Amari, Amari, she wasn't even saying Amari, Mari, Mari, me and you, Mari, you need to come on my live, Mari, people be flooding my inbox, Amari Queenie trying to reach you, I go over YouTube, Mari, she just on my name, on my name, and I give you one chance, bitch, I bring you on my page, with, with RT, that snitch, I bring you on my page and I said, look at this now. Because these motherfuckers who walk around telling people that they work Obia. Guess what they do? They're just convincing. What fucking Obia? If you tell her that you will get Amari to call her or you will link up her on Amari. All you got to do is fucking persuade me. That's all you got to do. No fucking Obia. Because no Obia can fucking touch me. All of you motherfuckers talking about Obia. Suppose I try to... I start to throw the Obia around here. What the fuck you all going to do? What the fuck you all going to do? Last week, I gave RT clout. And I gave you clout. Because I see you traveling like wolves. I say, what, what, what are these? look at these two. Don't you see? RT say, Amari, Jamaica. Did I go? Amari, I'll play your ticket. I'll, I'll pay your ticket. I'll pay destiny ticket. Yes. I'll put you up at my house. Did I go? No. No. That that show that Amari not licky licky. I sat right there. I put down my crocodile tears. And I'm like, I just stop for a minute talking. And make you all feel like I feel him. And be like, oh, oh my gosh. What? Oh my gosh. Artie, Artie, please don't disappoint me. Oh, please. Well, what, 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 what the fuck would I need Artie to bring me to Jamaica? To ride on my blessing? Because I knew Artie wanted to be on Sting. But the way he was planning to do it is to let me or you bring him in. Hey, 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 hey. Now he get up this morning posting all over his wall, but he got his first big show to do in Jamaica and he turned it down. He turned down Sting. Then he posts that they offered him 350000 and he turned it down because it can't pay his dancers. The whole plot was that you want to bring in Amari. Because that's the only person who can build up the hype to let you be back on Sting. You, even, even, even the CEO of Sting, you will hear where he said, it's Amari who said that Queenie need to be back on Sting to defend her throne. And he said, Amari, you know, say so you're smart. I'm the one who put out those logics. So I'm thinking, how are you going to do this, RT? You want to be on Sting so bad that you have to friend Queenie and you have to act like your friend with Amari. Bring them together because one way or the other, you are going to pass Sting right in the middle, but you have to do it somewhere, somehow. And I'm saying, it's just so many people want to be at Sting. Watch this shit. I, w I was sitting there. Even yesterday, I said to myself, you know, Mari, the one person you should have been on Sting with is the angel. You know why? I see these motherfuckers climbing the ladder of success and helping nobody. Queenie fake as fuck. When she see people, children, she act like she love them. But have you ever seen her take out a dollar and give to any of them? But when I saw the toy drive and everything that um um what's her name the angel doing for children and she ain't got a lot of kids and she ain't bought aborted a lot either you understand like some people walking around here and everybody kid they look at they remember the abortions that they did you understand i did those things too in life you understand so i'm not pointing fingers at you my goodies may god forgive us all i'm talking about these fake ass people in the industry but you you run to jamaica so many times have you ever bought anything from england and go in the ghetto 
and feed those kids and have a treat for those kids. No, you're running down the woman's son, running him down. You're in Jamaica every second. I swear you bring in coke in your pussy. You understand? Because we all know that Nash is a coke dealer. We all know that the, the man that is always on your page, the Indian one, we know that he, we know is drug dealing things. And you're the carrier carrying drugs in your pussy. How the fuck are you going to leave from Jamaica to England last week and back in Jamaica this week? You understand? Last year you bought down your whole family right after sing like eight people fly to Jamaica. Where the fuck the money coming from? What are you doing? Don't tell me. It's the music industry because we fucking know that Sting is not paying you because you're a cheap ass hoe. That's what you are before you stand with me and know your fucking value. You don't know your value before you stick with me and make sure that we collect. You don't stick with me. You branch off all the while and settle for less. That's what you do. And if anybody, and I know that we have intellectual, smart people around here, but the thing about my people, they hardly comment. But don't think they don't sit back and watch and What the fuck? Why the fuck people should pay money from UK to come see you and your trashy self and your trashy life? People don't do that. Only Amari can bring people to the table. People not going to travel from America. People not going to travel nowhere to see trash. Queenie. They will come out to sting and yeah, they'll make some noise for you, but they're not going to spend money to see you. Tomorrow or the day after, people is not going to buy $40 tickets and they, I bet they can't even sell it for $40 this year. Last year, they doubled it when Amara promoted sting. People not going to spend $40 now to buy ticket to see you, Queenie, on sting. They're not going to do it. Queenie, this is a year when people are going to realize the value of Amari. This is the year. Yes, bitch, go to Sting. Because you have no loyalty. I tested you and I tried you. Not once. You did not even try for me to be on Sting. You did not come out and say, hey, guys, I know you want me. But there's no me without you, my Amari. Just like how I say, that's my bitch. Anywhere I go, that's my handbag. I ain't leaving her. You get what I'm saying? You could have showed a little loyalty. You could have even pretend. Not fucking post up yourself on the wall. Because these people are users. They are users because you are basically, let's say that the other show that you supposed to do with Dewey, that they already pay for the plane ticket. So you use that plane ticket and go to Sting. But don't, don't forget, you got to go back. Of course, you got to, going to use their plane ticket again and go back. But you're a cheap ass bitch. They ain't giving you no money. So what are you going to go Sting this year and do? Uh, if people do watch thing is to watch you make a fool of yourself, bitch. You, you ride off the young man energy. You ride off Dewey energy all this time. Because every fucking live show you do, you got to talk about Dewey. You do a song, you got to talk about one man to your goody, that to do. You ride on his energy, ride on his energy, and basically take all his energy. All his energy. That his mom got to be praying for him to, to give back her son energy. Because you stole it all. The wedding and everything. You stole the spotlight with everything. You're a user. A blatant, bold-faced bitch. That's what you are. Tell Artie, get the fuck off my WhatsApp. If he ain't going to talk to me about himself personally or my money, I will block you, Artie. And you fucking know that. Because you are a fucking hypocrite. You're going to put on your wall how you refuse sting money and you're not going on sting. And you're over there dogging them. And then you go on another wall under the, the queen is sting thing talking about, I support you. You're a fucking hypocrite. You are a leech. That's what you are. Just like how you leech off mackerel. 
and, and, and lie and say, you and Mackerel together, you are a leech. But for some reason, when you come on my page, you act somewhat intellectually and you have to become somewhat divine, but you're a fucking snake. That's who you are. L like, for example, let me tell you all this dude is fake. The other day, right? He come on my page and he claimed to say, people on my page look in him and say he go the other way, right? And he spent almost half hour dogging people on my page. I had to tell him, dude, you need to stop because it seems like an invitation more than er any other thing. Was I right? Was I right or not? After I promote your song and make it relevant, next thing I look on his page, he had this guy dressed like a girl. Yeah, promote so-called promoting the song. And I say, if you're not that, why are you portraying that? And then people were saying, wait, you're hypocritical. And he was like, he don't care what nobody say. Come on now, dude. Come on, let's old church. Are you that or you're not that? Let's old church. Why be hypocritical? Don't you know that it's an honor to be on my page? I let you sit on my page all week. All we get followers and everything. You understand? You needed nobody else to push that song. I go on your TikTok with me, with me just portraying your song in my own days or whatever I add on. You got 75,000 views. Look on your TikTok. You already get views. Queenie, put your song out there. And got, I think, like 3,000 views, 2,500. Let me tell you, one thing with Amari, I got my receipts. And you dumb like Sting. You protect him, the one who you think will take you there when I'm the one that's taking you there. Huh? Did you tell Queenie that you should have at least been a little disloyal? No, you didn't. So why the fuck you, you coming on my WhatsApp this time in the morning telling me I must still support Queenie, stand by Queenie, else people gonna turn against me? No, you gonna turn against me. Because you are the one who collecting the money around here and telling people that you going to do whatever you promised to do, you damn fool. You're, you're the fool around here. Huh? Stupid bitch. Who you talking to? I just told you, I don't need your advice because I'm not a child. Just give me my $300 that you promise. I'm not your child. Give me my money or burn up that bumper cloth, but you dare not keep it because there's something about me. All I'm making sure is that I collect what was given to you. You, you hear what I just said? I collect what was given to you. The money that was given to you. You think you driving all the way to Portmore to Queenie House for nothing? The money that was given to you is to fuck Amari. And even if I have to work that money, so-called work, I need to get the amount that you were given. You were given a total of basically $500 with a promise to get 700 more. Give me that, my $500. I want it. When I spoke to my God and I say, so God, how long this goose is going to work? They feel they have me like that. They live on Amari page. They have Amari talking about them. God say it's going to run out, I think, next week, Thursday. Yeah. God tell me next week, Thursday, the, the, the goose will run out, the voodoo. Even Sting going to regret bringing you on Sting. And all these people, you going to feel the glory just fall off you. Yes, Miss Queenie. It's going to fall off. People not going to care. It's falling off already. And I'm going to stay right in my bed. You remember what, what I told Dutty Berry? I said, the, the fame is going to happen. Not tonight. It's after the video go viral. Whatever go down tonight, when the video goes viral, the next day, that is when Amari going to truly win. And I won the next day after viral to bomba clot my views go up to ross clot look on the followers on 
Instagram and see who got the most followers around here without being bought. Without being bought. My numbers don't lie. I don't buy followers, Queenie, and I don't buy likes. You understand? I'm the real deal around here with thousands of videos. You get what I'm saying? And last week when RT was like, Amari, me only have $60 a year in the morning. And you know I don't deal with the number 666, the mark of the beast. Tell the people them to give you donation. I saw where you want to cut me down. You want people to think that I'm broke. And you want me to go to beggar status. And I roll, I roll with the dough because I say, my people are smart. I just showed them my house. There's no way, no way I could live in a house like that and be broke. But let them give because at least I'll see their hearts and they will be blessed. Motherfucker, you really think Amari is broke? Huh? You really, really feel Amari is broke? So why would I be broke and live alone, me and Desi? And go get my whole family. Mm? And move them into one big mansion. My entire family. Bring them together. Why? why? Does that make sense? And I'm saying look at this shit. But I say my people will look into their arithmetic. And realize there's no way Amari could possibly be broke. It just don't make no sense. Because whether you know it or not. The months I don't work, I still get paid full. When Amari says she don't work, she still get paid. Why? Because our videos are still out there. Are you going to take down every single one of them? Our videos are still out there. I make money in my sleep, you stupid bitch. Huh? You, everybody know. People are like, she soon cuss them off. But honestly, when I showed... Queen Lady Gangster, and you're, you're no gangster, bitch. When I showed you love the other day, it was real love. But you and RT love, the whole shit was script. Mari! Fuck you, bitch. Take my name out of your sour mouth and go suck a dick. Go suck Lang dick. Because that's what you did last year, and that's what you're going to do this year, too. Why would I fuck a, a, a man so ugly dick? You understand, right in front of your, your fucking mouth with your mother inside, you suck his dick. You understand, why do we leave you? Why? Huh? Why? <laughs> what the fuck were you doing in his car? And why the fuck did he turn up again at your gate? Why the fuck when sing been over? Huh? What this shit all about? You fucking dumbass bitch. That's who you are. Fucking stupid. But go to Sting. Go. 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 You cannot repeat history, bitch. You can't. We're no friends. I truly, truly, honestly love that bitch. From the bottom of my heart. Love her as a person. I fight my daughter for Queenie. Even the night of Sting, I wet up my daughter. Because she talking bad about her. That's how my love is pure. That's how my love is clean. But you know what? God work in mysterious ways is wondrous to perform. If I told people about you, they wouldn't believe. They have to see it for themselves. If I told people that I'm the one that made Sting relevant, they wouldn't believe. They would have to see it for themselves. Just recently, um, that guy went to Jamaica on, um, what's his name, show? You, um, the guy that is with, um, Cardi B husband, the group that they're all in Quavo went to Jamaica. Ain't nobody care. So I don't care if Sting get the biggest international artist, whatever they do. Ain't nobody care. I sat down yesterday and I said, I need to be supporting the people that are helping children. I sat down and I said, Amari, like the angel or foundation, that's the foundation that you need to donate thousands of dollars to. Those are the people you should be supporting. I'm woke. Even listening to pastor the other day, I heard pastor said that, um, gully bop is crosses, is children are crosses, you all are crosses. And I said, you know, pastor, it's true. It's true. 
And they are going to say pastor was bringing him around, but, and then trying to get his tent. I'm saying, so what is wrong with that? I want to be the one to make sure that pastor get his church. Cause everything he's saying is true. I'm, I'm, I'm done being blindsided and giving pe- love to people. Stop giving love to people who don't love you. Stop it. 2024. It's a different year. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. I won't even be at that, that bro funeral. No. The bro treated me like shit, was ungrateful, just like Queenie, running from here to there. And the thing about them, when they make strides in life, they don't say Amari. They don't. You know when she going to say Amari? When she go to sing and look like a fool. You're going to hear her still talking about last year and talking about me and Amari did it because you want to come back under my wings. No, bitch. No, don't you say my name. I will be in Jamaica and I'm not going to go to Bob Finnerow. No, and I'm not going to be on Sting and you're going to see the excitement when I land. You're going to see it. You understand? Stop bringing your old Salvation Army close to Jamaica. Bitch wore Batman suit underneath her clothes. I ain't even going to say Wonder Woman. Because the motherfucker know that my name, my name in, in dance hall was Wonder Woman. Y- y- y'all ain't seeing it. Everybody know the thing on my forehead. They know I'm Wonder Woman. Everybody know I wear the boots. They know I'm Wonder Woman. Everybody know I come out with a song, Miss Wonders and Signs. You understand? And even that, you're trying to be the Wonder Woman in me. Slow down, bitch. Bitch, you slow. Because I'm way ahead of you. You understand? I just want to apologize to my fans that you really expected me to be staying. No. To be at Sting, no, they're going to be stung. You understand? There's a thing called karma, bitch. Yeah. And I truly apologize to you that you have yet to see me perform because I've been so busily fighting for my life. You hear what I said? My life. Did you hear me? My life. Yes, RT. My life. Been busily fighting for my life. But to God be the glory, great things he has done and continues to do. I sat down yesterday, I said, I said to myself, I would rather be in a church, on a church stage. You know, like a, what they call it, cov, convent, what they call it again? Where they, all the churches get together and praise God. I'd rather be there than be at Sting. Because, you look at Sting this year, you know what they call it? The 10 giants, all these men at Sting. And then they, they gonna get one or two females and no respect. They give them no money, no respect, none whatsoever. Treat them like shit. Have them gobbling and begging them to be on Sting. You get what I'm saying? It's a man's night. They're honoring the man, whether you S or not. They're honoring the man because they're all that. They're honoring, honoring the men. It's the men night. They just carry out a female to make her look like a fool, like how they trained me last year, trained me and said, you are going out there to fight. And then when you put me out there to fight, you said, we never bring you to sting to fight. We bought you to sting to perform. Why should we pay you? Why should we pay you to fight? You go, I'm saying the same people who say we need to pay, post you on our wall without your wig. We, that's how we need to post you looking like a mad woman without your wig. And that's how you're going to tell people that you come in to sting to K-I-L-L Queenie. And I say, I'm not going to do that. Because if something happens to her, you're going to put it all the blame on me. You got what I'm saying? These same people. They have been using the same tactics year after year. Where they um, lease out all this time on the radio and the television stations. Ting! You got to be there. Um, um, December 26th. Ting! Those shit don't work no more. You might feel like I'm not that big. 
in your stupid, stupid mind to bring down Sting. Watch me run this race. You know what you all going to do? Lap your X underneath you and pretend like it was successful. Remember last year I saved you all. When you jack up all the entertainers on the stage and tell them all to perform at once, I saved you all. You understand? Because people were distracted speaking about me that they did not even remember all that. Let's see what's going to happen this year. People, no use to waste your ticket. Get up the next day and watch it. It's going to be the biggest flop. And I'm not going to be stupid like RT talking about I support you. The, the, the truth is, um, RT, you don't support nobody around here. The truth is everybody support you. You heard what I just said. Support. You understand? Because if you are not the obvious man around here, you don't get paid. Because music is not paying you. So I, I, I ain't gonna beat you for, for taking these people money and letting them think that you can let Amari bow down to them. I'm gonna blame you for that because a, a guy got to hustle. You understand? I do like you. Mannerable and all. You understand? And you're a sweet person in real life. But I don't forget your guzu side. No, I don't forget it. I don't forget that you are what you are. You understand? I'm not stupid. You understand? You need to bring out the God in you. You think I'm stupid? The other day I was on live with him and I was like, RT, um, you know that, um, I didn't come to your parties because I thought you didn't serve the true and living God. You see, you're going to answer me. Do you? I don't go to your parties. No, I don't, because up till this day, I don't believe that you serve God. No, I don't. No, you can't bring that to me. All right? And I'm not going to these satanic parties, these people that are worshiping the devil and calling down more and more earthquake on my country. No, I want to gather with the people of the true and living God and praise him. No, I will not be its thing because they and other promoters like themselves and producers like themselves are about to be stung in this industry because people are waking up and all the DJs, payola DJs, all of them about to be stung because people realize that they don't have to pay no, stop wasting your money paying DJs to pay, Play your song. You might as get, well get in touch with Amari and say, bust me. You stupid bitch. I'm, I, I'm going to give you a piece of uh, a piece of your own medicine, a slice of cake. You understand? I'm, I'm going to support the people that are true. Do, should I start to let you know who I'm going to support? I'm, I'm going to support people like Momo. You understand? When you see a man leave a bitch for a ditch, D-I-S-H, that's who I'm going to support. Because the man left you because you're not no manners and you're brawling. And him left you for a woman that is, is sense, a woman who sits and listen to him and make him feel like a man and a cow him. That's who I'm going to support. And... Do we? I'll be right behind you. Yeah. To the fire. I'm going to give you a piece of your own medicine. But I don't want to do it because of revenge. Because I've been watching the whole thing. And I feel that I ain't going to talk my biz. But look at who I follow. Do I follow Queenie? No. Go look who I follow. I follow Dewey. You hear my song? I know me, I do him in a bad mind. I put do in my song. I didn't mention you because you're the one who's not relevant and think that you are so relevant when you are not relevant without Dewey. I wish uh, Momo could go to Jamaica and Momo, holler at me. I would love to be in Jamaica too. And the promoters for the show, I would love to be on the show with Dewey and come up against you, bitch, because I want to come to the show and say one man to me goody. And that do it. Yeah, I would like to do some projects with Dewey. Since as you so loyal, I would like to do collaborations. Genuinely, genuinely. 
I just spoke to Dewey. You understand? And oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So much love. So much love. So much love. Just spoke to Dewey in the morning here. Dewey was like, Queen, Queen McCann, believe it's an honor to speak to you. And I say the same here, Dewey. It's a honor to be talking to you. It's a honor. You eventually have to see the people that are real. Me and Dewey do have no time for chat you because we on to bigger things. You get me? Yeah. Go let RT uck you. That's good with me. Uh, Momo, link up. Would I like to fly down? Me and you. Yeah, yeah. Big up.